another reason why you're so terrific uh, for an NFL draft uh, is you've spent many years in the NFL and so also in rooms, evaluation rooms, draft rooms, and whatnot. Is it possible the 49ers made that big of a jump from 12 to 3, spending that much draft capital to go from 12 to 3 for a quarterback that they still are evaluating and grinding tape on, that they did not know the exact name of the quarterback that's not named Wilson or Lawrence that they're willing to spend all that to do? You know, and I have no knowledge uh, of, of how they got there or why they got there. Right. Um, But you can kind of look at it from the outside and saying, hey, we've got a quarterback that we really like um, who has not completed a season in two years. There are multiple first-round draft pick quarterbacks in this draft, and they're probably going to go early. So, hey, maybe it's let's just get up high so we make sure we get one. We need to get one, and now let's decide which one. Um, I know there's, you know, People saying all kinds of things. They could take a tight end. They could take a tackle, whomever. Uh, they're probably going to take one of those quarterbacks. And it's not like they're desperate. Like, they have to have a quarterback. If Jimmy G stays healthy, this is still a, a, have a really good chance to be a, a playoff team. It's now, can we ensure ourselves against Jimmy's uh, health history and get the future uh, in this draft? So I understand the, the, the process of getting there and realizing you know, there are – potential five first round draft pick quarterbacks and none of them might get out of the top 10 so you have to get up there if you want to get one so the general sense of things too coach shaw is that uh mac jones is going to be the choice because he's the one that fits the shanahan system the best what do you say about that uh axiom that we're hearing pretty much every day now what do you think of that this is this is like for for quarterbacks especially more than any other position this is always the argument um that comes up so often where are you choosing the quarterback that best fits you or are you just choosing the best prospect? And sometimes one is better, sometimes the other is better. And, and I can't tell you which one is, is which at times, but for all of us that have seen Kyle Shanahan, um, uh, he's got a great offensive mind. Many have called him one of the best in the league, which I think he is. Um, and if he and John Lynch feel like this is the best fit, then that's, the guy with no hesitation, right? You've heard uh, maybe they go for Trey Lance since we're talking about a guy that maybe is going to sit for a year and has a ridiculously high ceiling. You talk about level of competition and I mean jumping a couple of rungs to get up to the NFL level. We think this guy's got the ability. Maybe that's a good one. Maybe it's Justin Fields, right? The play action game, the boot game. Who knows? The guy that guy also takes care of the ball, doesn't turn the ball over. So, um, or it could be Mac Jones, who some people have labeled a system quarterback. Hey, the guy throws the ball accurately. You know that's what you need. He's a quick, quick decision maker. He throws the ball accurately. Um, he put guys around him, and it's proven now that he can make some plays. So, knowing Shanahan's system, which one fits, and is that the one that you have evaluated the highest out of those group of three quarterbacks, David Shaw? Yeah, I, I honestly have balanced back and forth between Justin Fields and Mac Jones for those two reasons. Um, I can see Mac Jones because I, I can picture the offense. At, at Alabama and just put him in San Francisco and say he's run a lot of the same concepts. He's going to walk in knowing what to do. Um, he's going to have a learning curve like anybody else making this big jump, but he's not going to have to make it you know, in six months. He's going to have to make it hopefully in 18 months or longer, um, and I can see that uh, easily. I don't know um, how I would pull the trigger because it's not on me right now, uh, but I could also be swayed by Justin Fields because of that athleticism, because of that 4-4. If he does get in trouble, he can take off and run. Um, he also has a strong arm. He also takes care of the football. Um, so you can make an argument to take the guy that you can picture right now fits perfectly or the guy that gives you that added dimension as a runner, which is so vital right now in the NFL. What is your evaluation, Coach David Shaw, of Justin Fields? There was a huge to-do last week. Um, when Dan Orlovsky of ESPN put it out there that his work ethic has been questioned. What is your evaluation on all of that about Justin Fields, David Shaw? Well, I, I, and I don't know, Dan. Um, that never works. <laughs> that never goes over well for somebody who's not in the building, who maybe talks to one person that says something, who knows. Um, I, 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 I would never cross that threshold because it's something I didn't see myself. Um, as an NFL evaluator, to really look at the skill set, the, 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 the potential detriments that I see on film or what other guys have seen on film also, 
is for what I talked about, Zach Wilson does extremely well seeing and getting out. Um, Justin, every once in a while, has a tendency to be flat-footed. And um, it's not the same level of anticipation, which, yes, you can improve on. It's not something that he'll never get. Um, but that, that quick decision-making, that quick release, um, sometimes you don't see that. Uh, you see it periodically, you just don't see it as often. Um, as far as work ethic, hey, the guy's a great player. He's a great athlete. He's a leader. Um, he's got toughness. He's got all those things that you're looking for. Um, and to say that he's been that successful over two years at Ohio State and, and doesn't work hard, um, I'd, I'd have a tough time believing that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.